Hello, welcome back to 22 Institute channel. My name is Tatiana Damjanovic. I'm a PMU artist with a decade of experience and the CEO of 22 Institute. And today we will talk about mineral pigments that I created specially for stretch mark and scar camouflage. We will do a comparison with the two pigments and discuss why I don't recommend you use them for camouflage treatment. So if you are a camouflage artist yourself or you are looking your way to start a career in PMU, then please consider subscribing. Stretch mark and scar camouflage treatment is one of the hottest trends for the past two years. Consequently, more and more artists look for suppliers of camouflage pigments. Considering that the technique comes from Brazil and was developed by a tattoo artist, camouflage therapists started using tattoo colors for the treatment. But is that the right approach? Well, just like lipstick is made for lips, tattoo colors are made for tattoos. Tattoo colors are vibrant, have large particles and are made to last long. Tattoos are a permanent treatment. Okay, at this point you may say that camouflage is also a permanent treatment. It may be, but how are you going to correct the coloration if the pigment selection is wrong? And how are you going to provide natural looking results on your client's body? When I developed my own approach to the technique, the most important thing for me was the pigments. I wanted to make sure that the colors were done right and they were suitable especially for camouflage technique. My lab in Germany introduced a new formula considering all the facts I had about the two colors. I developed mineral pigments that don't need to be diluted like the two inks. The composition of the pigments was strictly made for camouflage of stretch marks and scars, meaning the colors fade and ensure you a possibility of correction. Many artists strongly think that PMU pigments are the same as tattoo inks. Tattoo ink was made to be permanent and to last a long time. Let's take a look at some characteristics of inks and mineral pigments. Inks have huge pigment particles. When ink is applied into the skin, a tiny wound is created to which the body reacts. The immune system sends special cells known as macrophages to the wound to start the healing process and to destroy any foreign particles. Our cells are not so big to suck up the ink, so the ink gets stuck in the dermis. In comparison with the mineral pigments, who have smaller pigment particles, the pigments consequently fade quicker. That's why I recommend touch-ups every 6 to 12 months. Another thing with tattoo colors are the ingredients. Colored inks can contain lead, cadmium, chromium, nickel and other ingredients. Also 7% of inks in a recent study contain the preservative formaldehyde which is classified as a carcinogen by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Our mineral or also called inorganic pigments contain minerals without heavy metal parts and still offer great coverage. 22 camouflage pigments are highly effective color additives blended with other colors to create opacity, color effects and unique shades that resonate with customers. The base of 22 camouflage pigments is white, so you don't have to mix the pigments for base color. Inorganic iron oxides are used in fully vegan, organic and natural makeup product formulations. They are graded safe for cosmetic use. Such iron oxides are produced synthetically in order to avoid the inclusion of naturally occurring iron oxides that are potential irritants. According to the United States of America's FDA, all iron oxides in makeup products marketed, whether in fully vegan, organic or natural products are synthetic and have a predictable safety profile. I'm really digging deep here, but you have to be sure what you are implementing into the skin. The hardest part of knowing what to expect from pigments is the turnout of the color. 
Now the two artists use diluent to lighten the ink and to get different shades out of one color. It is called pigment washing. Washing is a standard procedure of getting several shades of grey from a black base ink. This protocol is used to get depth in artistic tattoos. The problem with the usage of washing in camouflage treatments is the color vibrance. If you mix several tattoo inks to get the desired color and use a diluent, you can't exactly predict how the color will turn out in the skin. It may look good once it is applied or with the naked eye, but when it starts to fade, I'm talking in months and years, the coloration can turn really bad. Listen, I know that a lot of therapists look for budget-friendly products. Some tattoo ink brands are selling for $10 to $20 a piece on AliExpress or eBay. I have a lot of people who DM me about quality issues with some tattoo ink brands. They report different colors with every delivery, two orange or red colors and so on. You are charging the treatment from $500 to $2,000 per area. Make sure you are using quality pigments to keep the clients coming back and to secure good results. 22 mineral pigments are the same with every delivery and don't need any diluent because the density of the product was specially made for body camouflage. No diluent means good control of the color. Because the two inks were made to get vibrant bold results, the mixture itself contains several vibrant colors and you can guess what happens once you dilute and mix them. My mineral pigments have a white base, so there is no fear of the unwanted tones. The two inks can be based on iron oxides, red in color, and when mixed with other colors, the camouflage can act reddish, bluish, or greenish over time. One thing you have to consider is also the factors that affect the final pigment color. The client's undertone, the outer skin tone, and pigment fixation. I always teach my students to layer my mineral pigments instead of mixing them. I don't believe in color mixing when it comes to camouflage. I'm using layering of the pigments for this technique. You can learn how to layer the pigments in my online course. If you made it this far, thank you so much for staying with me till the end. I believe in safe treatments and client satisfaction. I know this is a competitive business and the thought of every lasting results is tempting. But as an experienced artist with over a decade of work in the PMU business, I can't stress enough that stretch mark and scar camouflage is a semi-permanent treatment. Well, at least it should be. As an artist, you always have to leave some room for correction, safety and gradually build up of the results. You are treating areas on a human body that need their own attention, patience and natural look. I hope you learned some new info from this video and if you like, you can check out my collection of mineral pigments. The link to the pigments is in the description box. You are also welcome to join our Stretchmark Camouflage online course. P.S. We added two free mini courses in the Camouflage course BB Glow and Microneedling. So you get free courses for one price. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye guys.